Hello, in this video I'd like to show you how I used electronics and 3D printing to turn a normal Cadbury's hot chocolate tin into a fully functioning portable speaker. Oh yeah, check it out. So I'm going to take you through how the 3D prints work and how both the ones on the outside but also the whole structure on the inside looks and then I'd like to go into a little bit on the electronics and how they all fit together with the speaker and then finally I'll do some assembly, some gluing, some screwing bits together and that kind of thing and then I'll plug it all in and test it. Let's get started. Okay so I have here my speaker and around the outside of the speaker you can see there's this sort of dent and I thought that's the best way to hold it since there's not any mounting holes or anything like that. So I created a matching 3D print which has a lip which fits into that little dent there and slides around quite nicely and holds it in place. I made a second one which goes in like that, there we go, and those two screw together using some holes here and they really hold the speaker in place quite well, it's, it's not going anywhere. So that is my speaker held. Now that will fit on top of a column like this, so you can see the orange bit here is the same, this grey bit we've got going on, and this will fit inside of the hot chocolate tin like that. So we've got this H section which supports it. And that's got a load of poles drilled in, and that's so that I can put the circuit board on there. I wasn't entirely sure how it was going to mount it, so I thought if I just put holes all over it, then I'll have plenty of options. After that, I've got the pillars down the side, which are really just for support. And finally, a base bit, which is going to sit against the bottom of the speaker. So that slides into here, like that, and it's really snug. Next up, I've got a load of controls around the outside, so things like the power switch and the power jack. And to fit them, I created these little panels which will slide around the outside of the speaker. And so this one goes through there, that one goes through there, that kind of thing. And the thing I really like about these is they've got a little bend on the outside. I don't know if you can see that. And that means they fit perfectly against the circumference of the speaker, which I quite like. Finally, I have this, which actually goes onto the lid of the hot chocolate tin. And this... Uh, is basically so that when I drill a load of holes in to let the sound out, there's still some protection and it snaps on, there we go, like that. I think I'll also have to glue it and then that'll go on top of the tin like this. The speaker will be mounted just below it and that'll be it complete. So that is my 3D prints. Now I'd like to show you some of the electronics and how they all fit together. Let's do that. Okay, so here I have the electronics. It's all built around this little red board you see in the middle which is a SparkFun audio amplifier board and it's really quite simple. The signal comes in from the audio jack here, goes round to this side, it amplifies it in the middle and out the left comes the amplified signal for the speaker and really that's basically all we've got going on. On the left is where power is provided with a power jack and I just added a switch there and that goes into these two pins and then the only other thing is some volume control which is also built into the board which you can attach a potentiometer to which I've got here. So that is the electronics. Okay, so now you've seen how all the bits work individually, it's time to put them all together and assemble them because at the minute they're all just hanging around. So it's time to drill some holes, do some gluing and get everything fitted inside the speaker. And hopefully, hopefully at the end, it will all work. So I'm gonna show you a little montage of me doing all the assembly, enjoy. Right, I now have everything wired up, connected up to the circuitry there, and it is now time to put it inside and see if it all works. I think 
this, you know, I said earlier that the uh, I had this cut out here so that the it could slide down quite happily. I think it's just going to about hit on the way down there, so I might just have to push it and just hope nothing falls off. Let's get on with it. I'm a bit, I'm a bit nervous. So here we have it. After a build which took significantly longer and was quite a lot harder than I expected, I have the hot chocolate speaker. So we've got the lid on the top there with the holes drilled in, controls on the outside, and then on the inside we have our speaker sat nicely ready to play some music. So there's only one thing left, let's plug it in, see what happens. Okay, so there we have it, one working hot chocolate speaker. And as you can tell, I'm absolutely delighted with how this worked out. Look at it, ah, oh, so good, so good. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you've got any questions, just feel free to ask in the comments. I'm quite happy to answer any details which you think I've left out. And I'll also write up a blog post which will have some of the wiring, the 3D print files and some of the lessons I learned along the way in case there's some extra details which you'd like to get your hands on. So apart from that, I think that's me done. I'm going to go listen to some music and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.